Yes, we asked Beaumont Health doctors for more information about this patient, but they can't give us a lot of information at this time because of medical privacy laws. What they did tell us is that it's a man in his 50s with underlying conditions and that he passed away early this morning at a Beaumont hospital in Wayne County. Our medical team went to extraordinary efforts to care for this patient, and we are deeply saddened by his passing and empathize with his family. It's never any good to have a patient die, but I think that we also have to prepare ourselves that, that there will be more. Beaumont Health's Medical Director of Infection Prevention and Epidemiology, Dr. Nick Gilpin, and Beaumont Health Chief Nursing Officer, Susan Grant, says to preserve resources to save other lives, they need your help. Yesterday, the hospital system screened about 1,500 patients and processed 500 tests for the new coronavirus. Nurses and staff members are answering about 5,000 calls a day. Even if you do have symptoms, the message during this press conference is that there are not enough tests to test all who get the virus. Testing facilities are being overrun. And so a lot of patients who are experiencing relatively mild symptoms, who don't have underlying medical conditions, who are young and otherwise healthy, frankly, do not need to be tested. As sure, for a lot of you out there, you do need medical care and we want to be able to provide it to you. But for the majority of you, you'll be okay. If you think you've been exposed, call us. Don't come showing up to our emergency department, okay? We need to preserve our precious resources. And right now, our precious resources as healthcare providers are our testing capabilities, our personal protective equipment, our beds, and our staff. At the press conference, we asked Beaumont Health how many COVID-19 patients they were treating, and they said, you know what, the number keeps increasing so fast, we don't have an exact number. What we can tell you is the number is in the dozens. In the meantime, doctors are asking everyone to continue social distancing, doing what we can to prevent the spread of this virus. Reporting live in Southfield, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. All right, Kim, thank you so much.